Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Coming at you with another episode today. I um, have several TTMs from today. Also, uh, two that came in yesterday. Um, I'll go ahead and show those first. Uh, this one was out for quite a while. Uh, I sent a 1977 and 1978 Tops card. Uh, he sent back an 84 Tops, which is fine. Uh, this was out since uh, September. This is uh, Greg Bingham. Played a long time for the Houston Oilers. And then the other one from yesterday is former Mets third baseman. Uh, 77 Tops. Roy Steiger. As well as a Myco Ballpark Heroes Signature Collection uh, custom card that he signed. And uh, he also signed the letter, but just his name, so I won't bother showing that. Uh, the successes for today uh, former, I believe he's a former PGA golfer, he might still be golfing, I'm not sure. Uh, Dale Douglas on the custom. Um, former Toronto Maple Leafs player, and he played for a ton of other teams in the 80s and 90s. Chris Katsopoulos. That card, or that photo came out really nice. So, uh, really happy with that one. Uh, Hall of Famer from the Washington Capitals. Got Rod Langway. Pretty cool. Uh, former Negro League uh, pitcher. Just sent uh, the Hugh Graff Signature Series card because I couldn't find a photo for him. Uh, Bill Bethay. He put, uh, God be with you always. Thanks for your concern. And then he included his own card, which was really nice of him. Uh, Greensboro Redbirds custom baseball card of Bill Bethay. With blessings to you always, inscription and 1954. So pretty sweet there. Uh, former outfielder for the Cleveland Indians, 1979 tops Ted Cox. And on a Hugh Grass signature series card, he also signed this one. So pretty sweet. Just going through my cards and decided to send some off. I uh, got this guy twice before, this will probably be the last time I sent to him, just came across these cards and figured why not. Uh, but he's an outstanding signer, uh, I believe he's still a coach for the Phillies, but sent to his home address, Larry Boa on this 1979 Tops. Had a bunch of those cards, and then a 1984 Tops with the Cubs later in his career. So, pretty sweet. Uh... Former outfielder, Brewers, Yankees, and Braves, and maybe even some other teams in there. 1989 Tops, signed by Dion James in black. And then really nice cards, uh, the send for TTMs, the 1992 Stadium Club, Dion James. I'm very happy with that return, 2 of 2. Uh, this one's been out since September. So this is a American Girls baseball player, uh, AAGPBL. Uh, to be honest, I have not been really working on sending to a lot of the ladies lately. Um, just kind of got burnt out on that project and was just uh, right before I stopped, I was getting like quite a few rejections uh, saying that they won't sign, you know, the Hewitt Grass or whatever. They only sign their cards and whatnot. And uh, they're kind of expensive to just buy the cards, so I just kind of gave up on that project. So completely forgot this one was still out there. I think there's still a couple out there, but uh, don't know if I'll ever pick it back up or not. But I mean, it's still cool. Uh, she signed the Hugh Grass, Gene Fott, uh, South Bend Blue Sox, 1946-53. So she played for a while, and she sent her own uh, Fritch card. And inscribed to me. So, pretty cool. Uh, one more baseball here. 
uh, signed a uh, the autograph card a little baseball custom haven't bought these in a while but I still have a few lying around uh, Craig Anderson former Mets pitcher and then I uh, sent this 4x6 photo of a 1963 tops. Um, made some miscalculations though, so it kind of got cut off right here, the A and C. But uh, it's still alright. Find your pen there. So pretty cool. Uh, got this guy once before, but uh, since I figured out how to do pictures, figured why not? Why well, sign? He's a great TTM signer. As far as I know, they are legit. Uh, he's pretty good with his fans. Uh, famously known for playing Uncle Polly in the Rocky movie series. Uh, Burt Young. Thought this was a really funny looking picture. Sylvester Stallone there messing with him. So pretty, pretty sweet on that one. So very happy. And then got two email successes and we're done. Uh, Troy's. Uh, head football coach Neil Brown um, looks legit not out of pen kind of hard to see because it's in black you know black on black so but uh, looks looks pretty good to me either way you know it's an email it's free so uh, this one got a little bent but uh, it can probably straighten out a little bit in the binder uh, Dayton's men's basketball coach, uh, Archie Miller. Uh, that one also does not look like auto pen either. So, pretty cool. Very nice mail day. So hopefully this will continue into tomorrow. I think I'm on about a 13 day streak of at least getting one TTM a day. Maybe 14 by now. So, uh, so far so good. And I'm going to prepare some more TTMs, watch some more videos while I'm doing it, and get some more ideas, and uh, hopefully send them out uh, either tomorrow or Monday. So that's it, guys. Talk to you all later.